Grids are used by graphic designers to help them structure content, arrange shapes and text in a logical order, and achieve more precise and consistent positioning. Grids aren't just for designers though, absolutely anyone can use them. They're particularly good for making presentations look slick, polished and easier to understand. Let's have a look at how you can create a grid using Google Slides. The first thing we need to do is make guides visible on our slide. Guides are helpful for aligning content. To do so, click View in the menu bar, then Guides and Show Guides. When turned on, guides should look like a cross shape at the center of your slide. When I'm creating a grid for my presentation, I usually start by setting the margins. Margins create an invisible frame around your content so that it doesn't creep too close to the edges, allowing for visual breathing room. With your mouse, drag the vertical guide from the center of the slide to the left side of your slide. When you begin to drag, a numbered indicator in a black box will appear. I'm using this to position my guide at 0.5 inches from the left edge of the slide. Let's do the same for the horizontal guide by moving it at 0.5 inches from the top of the slide. Now to add another guide, we can right click on one of the existing guides and choose add horizontal guide. As I position it at the bottom of the slide, a blue visual spacing indicator will appear to make sure that the space at the bottom is the same as the space at the top. And let's do the same thing for the guide that will be the right margin. Now, the problem of setting a grid directly on top of the slide like this is that you could accidentally move the guides while adding content to your slide. If you do this, you could easily restore them by undoing your last action with Control Z, but it's much safer to set the guides within the slide master. This way, they're locked so you can't accidentally move one. So let's remove them by right-clicking each one and choosing Delete Guide. And let's start again. First, click on View from the menu bar at the top, then Master. Select the master slide. This is the top slide in the list of thumbnails down the left-hand side. And let's set the margins again, this time in a different way. Click on View from the menu bar at the top, then Guides and Edit Guides. Here we are setting our left margin. We want our guide to be 0.5 inches from the left of the slide. And then we want to click on Add New Guide at the bottom of the modal window to set the right margin. This should be 9.5 inches from the left edge of the slide. To set the top and bottom margin, click on Horizontal tab at the top. Add a new guide 0.5 inches from the top. This will be the top margin. And add a new guide 5.13 inches from the top, which will be the bottom margin. Hit Done, and you're done. Now your newly created margins will show up on each new slide you create. But so far we've only created the margins. We can make our grid even more precise by setting the columns and gutters. Columns are a great way to visually segment content. They can help you group ideas together or balance your content better across the slide. Columns can be further segmented by placing smaller lines between them, called gutters. Today we're going to create a six columns grid. Let's start by creating six rectangles with the same width inside the margins. First, click Insert, Shape, Shapes, and then select the rectangle. Draw the first rectangle. The length and width of it doesn't really matter. Just try to draw one that's roughly the same size as the one I'm drawing here. Now, by pressing Alt and dragging, we can create a copy of the first rectangle. We repeat this step for four times so that we eventually have six rectangles on our slide. Now we need to make sure that they're all spaced out equally. To do this, select all of them and click Arrange, Distribute, Horizontally. With all rectangles selected, drag them to the left so that the first rectangle is touching the left margin line. Now right-click the selected rectangles and click Group to group them all together as one object. Now resize the group by dragging the node so that it will take the full space of the area inside the margins. Now we can ungroup the rectangles by using the keyboard shortcut Control, Alt, Shift, and G. Now we can start adding new guides and positioning them evenly. Add a new vertical guide and position it on the right edge of the first rectangle. Add another new vertical guide. We can do it more quickly by pressing Alt and dragging the already existing vertical guide. Position it on the left of the second rectangle. Repeat this process for all the edges of the rectangles.
once you're done, select all the rectangles and delete them. We don't need these anymore. Close the master by clicking the close button at the top right of the slide. All the changes you've made to the master will be automatically saved. The guides are now fixed and our six columns grid is now ready to be used.